can you go so far as to suggest an entire memory of something that never happened? Chris is the subject of a false memory experiment. The Loftus researchers had several of his family members record in a journal some real events shared by the family. A false event, being lost in a shopping mall at the age of five, was added to the journal, which Chris read and ultimately remembered as real. I remember getting lost and I was crying and um, I remember that day I was so scared I thought I'd never seen my family again. I knew I was in real trouble. I remember the stores, baby, I sort of remember the stores. Uh, an older man approached me, he was tall and I don't know his age, but he was older. Um, he, he had a flannel shirt on. Um, I remember the flannel shirt. And uh, I remember my mom told me never to do that again. And uh, Well, in terms of Chris's memory, there was no man. There was no flannel shirt. There was no mother who said, don't ever do this again. Using deception in psychological research is a controversial but sometimes unavoidable practice. When the Loftus research team informed Chris that they had implanted a false memory, they followed a debriefing procedure designed to minimize any distress that participating in the study might have caused. If there were three words that I would come up with to describe what memory is, I would say memory is suggestive, it's subjective, it's malleable.